In this video, I will show you how to make a Minecraft Potion of Weakness. Did you know you can get a Potion of Weakness without brewing it first? The basement hidden underneath an igloo contains one Potion of Weakness in a brewing stand, and an igloo will naturally generate in a snowy biome, either snowy tundra or the snowy taiga, but not snowy mountains, ice spikes, snowy taiga hills or other variants. And only half of igloos that you find will contain that hidden trapdoor under the carpet that leads down to the basement. So if you find an igloo that doesn't have one, keep searching. You'll be able to find a Potion of Weakness for free. However, before you go searching for a Potion of Weakness or brewing one, which I'll show you how to do shortly, it's very important to know how the potion works so you can make effective use of it. The Weakness Potion was added to Minecraft in the 1.4.2 update as part of the 12 week 34a snapshot back in August 2012. This is the same update that the Invisibility Potion was introduced, which I have a really popular video for and I'll link that in the end screen. I think you will like it. There are two versions of the Potion of Weakness, one that lasts 1 minute 30 seconds and the Potion of Weakness Plus that lasts 4 minutes. The Potion of Weakness will decrease your melee attack damage. As of the 1.19 update in 2015, it was changed so that it decreases 4 points of damage, which means 2 hearts less damage than what you would normally do to an enemy with melee attack. Interestingly, on Bedrock it looks like it only does half a point of damage, which is a quarter of a heart, which is exactly what it was for Java before the 1.19 update. So a Potion of Weakness has a much more significant impact on your ability to fight in Java Edition as opposed to Bedrock. However, that's not what most players will use it for because it's quite a negative effect. The most common use for a Potion of Weakness is to convert a zombie villager into a regular villager. Apart from being a very nice thing to do I guess, doing so gives you significant discounts when trading with that villager, so the process of using a Weakness Potion on a zombie villager is often integrated into trading hall designs, along with a golden apple. You throw a weakness potion onto them and then you give them a golden apple to eat and shortly afterwards they will convert back into a regular villager. So now, how do you make a Minecraft potion of weakness? Well, it's actually one of the simpler potions available. And if you have any questions about this or anything else that I've said so far, drop a comment below and I'll do my best to answer you. And why not share this with a friend if you're finding it useful? So here's how to make the potion of weakness. Make a glass bottle and fill it with water, then put it into a brewing stand. For optimal efficiency, brew three at a time as it uses the same number of resources to do so. And then, and this is where it differs from every other potion, normally you would add your nether wart to start off the potion in the game, but don't do this for a potion of weakness. Instead, just add a fermented spider eye to the three water bottles. This will give you a potion of weakness that lasts one and a half minutes. You can increase duration by adding redstone, giving a Potion of Weakness Plus, lasting 4 minutes. You can then convert this into a Splash Potion if you like, using Gunpowder. This is important if you wish to apply the effect to a villager to cure them from being a zombified villager. Note, keep this in mind, you do not need the longer lasting Plus version to cure a zombie villager. Converting the cheaper 1.5 minute version into a Splash Potion is more than enough. Just a reminder, we've got that Potion of Invisibility video up on the screen now. Subscribe for more tutorials and let's play content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.